Bacardi presents the TFC Game in Six. Things weren't supposed to be this way. Just a month ago, Toronto Football Club secured a second straight road win and seemed certain for the franchise's first ever spot in MLS playoffs. Here's a knockdown into the back of the net. But five games have been played since, and the team has only one point of a possible 15 to show for it. The good news is that there are eight games left and plenty of time to turn it around and qualify for the postseason. It starts tonight in Chicago against a familiar foe, a spoiler just three weeks ago. The Fire's not about to give up on their season, so expect another battle tonight. Toronto FC, Chicago Fire, now. Samari finds Quincy Ameriqua who comes to meet and now making a run is Grant Ward. He's found some space down the right side. And at the edge of the 18, he'll put it on his right foot, keep it on the ground. This is a nice setup. Joe Bendick doesn't have to make the save. Diving to his right at the end of that moment, but space down the right side is what set that one up. About to make our way into the eighth minute of this match. There's the touch. Lawrence Woods gets it through. And Joe Bendick to his right, down to cover up. And it was low, not quite as hard, not hard enough to beat Joe Bendick. There's a good look at Toronto's marking on set pieces, i.e. the corner kicks right now. A lot tighter man-on-man -man marking, and it's a low kick. Alex with a return pass. Now the cross is in, and the first goal of the match gets by courtesy of Lavelle Palmer. His first of this season, fourth of his career. Again, Toronto can't get Good 25 yards into Chicago territory with any possession before it's taken away. Now here's a giveaway and Jackson straight up the middle. Jackson keeping it, slots it ahead. This is Bradley! And he gets the shot on goal, forcing Sean Johnson down to cover up. It's exactly where Toronto wants to see Michael Bradley getting involved. Bloom is going to send it in. Gilberto backing up, heads it down for Jackson. Back to Gilberto, turns, can't get the shot away. Lavelle Palmer with a fine play. Just in the nick of time as Gilberto was hungry to strike and he stays down in the 18 yard area holding on to his left ankle. Two minutes later, headed on back post. That was headed in if Craval didn't get to it. Laurentowitz got the head on it, but Craval at the post keeps it out. I just want to finish my point on Jermaine Defoe and talking with Greg Vanny today. He did tell us that Defoe has a targeted date to return to play, not just to train, as America on Niassi can't touch this. He's offside, but Alex can, and it deflects just wide of goal. It's again the transition causing Toronto problems as four red jerseys get inside the 18. Oh, I see, not entertaining right now is Watson off the turnover. Here's a dart towards goal. Bendick gets just enough, and to the penalty spot, points the referee in Toronto. Now in dark danger of falling down 2-0. From the spot in the 57th minute. Laurentowitz with the right foot. Bendick keeps it up, but Ameriqua with the rebound. Bendick again. Joe Bendick. What a moment for the Toronto keeper. And now Alex to the spot. And Bendick again. Wow, what a sequence in the 57th minute. And just puts it right on the head of Alex. Mark Bloom comes forward. Becker, who might be moments away from coming out of the game. For Di Rosario trying to chest one towards goal. And Johnson handles that one easy enough. And that was all in front of Samari, posing any problem whatsoever as an aerial threat. 88th minute, corner kick. Headed towards the six, knotted on, tipped in! And guess who? Dwayne Di Rosario with his first goal of the year. And number 104 for his career. And it could not have come at a better time. 89th minute. Lots well, Toronto's first goal since August 23rd when Toronto FC tied Chicago 2-2. Gilberto had that goal. Does he have one here in the area? Gilberto stops, pulls it up top, tries to cut in, stays with it, touches it over the line! Gilberto! 
Unbelievable. In the 90th minute. Or has the referee called this back? And Dwayne De Rosario, and Michael Bradley beside themselves as to why, and we'll have to take another look to find out why. Well, Gilberto does such a good job here of turning Lorenowitz inside and out. Gets by Samari as well. And I don't see a Where's foul the there. Foul? There's the foul? Mark Bloom, Jackson. Needs to find a way to get this into the area. Here's Jackson. He does back post, and it's Lorenowitz. Bloom, nice job to step up. Bloom with a cracker! And it's stopped by Johnson. And Michael Bradley in the face of David Gantar. And I wouldn't blame him if he kept going because that is unbelievable. And Toronto FC has said so much. Paul, not go their way at different moments of the season.